Welcome to another show of Braai with Box 6 Gun Grill Style back at Belito Gas and Braai today in the Braai Kitchen and today we've got the boss of uh, Belito Gas and Braai, Werner with me. To, um, he's my guest today and he's going to do something very special for us. Werner. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank welcome. You. Welcome to the show. Werner is a, um, is a very professional braaier and he knows his story around a braai and a ceramic braai and today we're going to ask him to um, do something for us in this stove, the ceramic braai, and nothing other than a pork belly rib, I'll say. and he's going to smoke it in this uh, stove for us today. So yeah, Varys, um, show us what you're going to do. We've got this amazing pork belly pork rib belly, yeah. from uh, Warzas, and you're going to cut off the rib now, and this side is the pork belly, and this side is the rib. Um, so show us what you're gonna do. So yeah, we first of all must through it. Yeah. just get the rip off. Okay, you're just gonna cut so it off. That's it. Just start next to the rip there. Get your guideline going, and then from there you can open it up. Just cut off around the bones. Around the bones. Looks quite uh, straightforward and easy. The tricky part is always the end. Getting through the bone. Part last bone, yeah. There you go. There you go. So this is the obviously the part of the rib next to the pork belly. Is that the belly? That's the there? belly there. Okay. All right, we're gonna do that. Later well. on that bri. Okay. Maybe later. Uh -huh. now, there you go. Right, for another occasion, but today you're going to do the rip. We're going to do the rip. We're going to do it nice and slow on the on the stove today. Yeah. The temperature of about 110 degrees Celsius. We're going to do with nice big chunks of hickory. Okay, so that's what's going to create the smoke inside. That's, is, that's the one. So it's going to be a slow, slow cook. Four, five, six hours. Six hours today. Six hour process with um, these chunks of hickory to go. create the smoke. To That's get it. the smoke flavor into the uh, right. And how are you going to spice this for us today? We're going to use the six gun today. We're going to rub this. Versatile spice that versatile we always spice. use. We're going to rub this whole belly in uh, olive oil and then turn it down with six gun spice and then just put it on the grill. And these sauces, are you going to use any sauce or not? Uh, only later. After about two hours, we're going to start basing mopping, it. basing it every half hour okay fantastic do we need to get rid of this we need skin? to take the skin off otherwise it's going to be getting very crispy oh yeah that's obviously that turns into your that's um it. we just want the fat we don't want the skin okay so i think we can take off the skin but that's going to be a longer process so we let's start on that yeah okay perfect show us how not that difficult Werner, the skin is off. That's it. Uh, how are you going to spice it now? So now we just dab it a little bit of oil. Olive oil, yeah? Olive oil, yes. Rub it in nicely. Isn't there enough fat on it already? Never. <laughs> Not for six hours. <laughs> yeah. no, it's obviously just a little bit of a... Just to keep the spices of a rubbing on it. Oh yeah, it's for the spices to stick. That's it. Stick onto the, onto the meat. And then you can spice it. You can really put a lot of spice on. We're using six gun grill. You can really put a generous amount on it. Use it as a rub, basically. That's it. Don't be scared. Yeah, proper. Huh? And are you going to use some of these sauces or not? Not now. It's going to. Is it going to burn if we do it? Yeah. Um, you want too early. That's it. You want the spice to smoke and the spice to go into your to meat in the beginning, and the, the sauce just as a basic. You need more. <laughs> I'm done. I think you're, <laughs> I think you're the type out. of guy that need, needs one of I these. I need one of those stuff. <laughs> <laughs> because you finished this one. It's done. It's done. <laughs> What's are you sure? Are you, it looks you good. Have enough. I, I had enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks brilliant. I just want to put a little bit more just, there. Just for, just for 
extra measure. And on the sides, That's Uncle it. Jimmy taught me to put always on the sides stuff on the sides as well. That's it. Okay. No, cool. Perfect. All right. I'll say. And now, is that it? That's We're going it. into the stove. We're going into the stove. What's the temperature at the moment? It's at 150. It's a little bit high still. We're letting the temperature go down, but we can put in the, the smoke chip so long. How do you regulate the, the temperature on something What's like nice this? about the ceramic stoves is they've got a high vent and a low vent. So, and all of these have settings, high and low. Open it up fully, open it up close, and you can go up to 400 degrees Celsius and go so down to 100 degrees Celsius. You can really go slow. But how you do it, you, if you open it, obviously you get more air, air going through and it, and then the heat goes up. It, Okay, so, so if you want to go down, you close everything. That's away. it. Okay. What's nice about it, if you don't put a lot of air in there, you get the smoke. So you can put a piece of wood in there, it won't light, but it will just smoke. Okay. And that's what gives you the flavor it and the meat. It makes it easy to, to smoke and there something you go. And like you this. can go up to 6 to 12 hours on a single load of charcoal on this, on a low temperature, which makes it very nice. She was, I heard something about people doing some stuff on the ceramic rye with one load of coals, keep it at 150 degrees for how many hours? Up to 9, 10, 11 hours. But what was that record? It was something ridiculous like 76 hours or something? I'm not sure about the record. <laughs> I'm not sure, sure. Are we going to break record. any records today? No, no, we're just going to break. Tasting, great tasting records. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Put it in. Can I put it in for you? No, let's get the grits ready. Okay, is there something specific we need to do? <laughs> it's the glove. Glove is important. What's the. What's your um, plan now? To put it up a little bit or? Yeah, we're gonna put it up. We're gonna put the, the wood chips in. Okay, I see. So we already start with, this, with the smoke. We get the smoke going. Okay, so the wood chips creates the smoke. That's it, or the wood chunks rather. Yeah. All right, three big chunks. Can you use this normal smoke chips, the smaller ones as you well? You can, not the, not the small small shavings they burn yeah. out too fast yeah. so don't use those um, but the, the chips you can use yes now we're going to use the deflector plates just to keep the heat off the meat direct heat okay so the direct heat is okay yeah. so we're going to use indirect heat today and you can already smell the smoke oh yeah amazing huh gee whiz put it on its highest level okay Now the rib can go on. Lovely. Rip side down. Rip side there down. There you go. In the center. Nicely spiced. A little bit extra spice. <laughs> like <laughs> we okay. always need. Mm, smell That's the smoke. It. Amazing. And now do you keep it closed? Now we keep it closed and we'll regulate the temperature. Okay, so it goes down. Yeah. Open it a little bit. Yeah, we need we need to keep it between 110 and 120 degrees Celsius for the next six hours. Next six hours. Great. We'll open it up after two hours and start basting. See you in six hours. <laughs> Hopefully we are not too drunk by then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, it's still morning here where we are. Um, okay. Uh, Werner, tell me, can we get some of these magnificent bras at your shop? Obviously, because you are the bra <laughs> master in uh, Belito. So for any bra things, people can come yeah. to your shop. Now we, do, do we do sell these bras in our shop. We do from gas, charcoal, the ceramic price, we install, we deliver. Do everything. everything. Install, deliver, build, That's it. break. No, we try not to break it. I think it's your... Let me correct that job. Werner built this uh, amazing bry stand for us in one day. So yeah, if you uh, anything bry related, come to Werner. If you don't know where they are, where are you? Where can the people find you? Believe that we are only this. Yeah, not only so that. People big, should know where you are. Twelve garlic drive, and if you don't know, it's next to ten out of ten stationers or the fishermen across the road from Basel Manning. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Easy to find for all your bry needs. See you in six hours. There's the smoke coming through. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> really like it. It is competition time on Bry with Box Six Gun Grill Style. And as we all know, slops or flip flops, whatever you want to call it, is Belito's national footwear. And um, 
wear them to meetings anywhere if you want somebody to take you seriously. In any case, said, and you can win this amazing hamper, his and hers hamper, flip-flops, slops, aprons, beach towels, beach bag, bright tongs, you name it. All you have to do to win this amazing hamper is go to the Belito TV Facebook page, like it, and comment on this post. Tag three of your friends and use the hashtag chill your toes. Brew Belito. It is exactly to the minute, six hours later. Um, Bernard has been basting this thing throughout. We've been checking the temperature between 100, never over 140. And uh, it's time for this baby to come out of the egg. Ready? We're definitely ready. Oh, my hat. Oh, my hat. Look at this baby. Woo. I'm going to take it out, let it rest for a while, and uh, we're going to do some chips. So it's oven baked chips that we're going to put into the stove and uh, see if it works. We tested one earlier and it seemed to work quite good. 10 to uh, 5 to 10 minutes in the stove. Then we got lovely ribs and chips. Can't wait to taste this. Can I give you a hand there? Or you yes. Okay? There we go. I'll say. Perfect. Close that one. Uh, temperature wise for the chips? 150, um, 200 degrees Celsius. Not yeah. too hot. 5 to 10 minutes while the meat rests and then ready and to, then it's time to, to eat. Eat. There we See go. you in uh, 5, five to, to 10 minutes. <laughs> Chips are nearly ready. I'm going to cut this um, rib for us. Let's see what it looks like. Right, here we go. There's the bone. Ah, man. I'm going to turn this around so I can see what I cut. There we go. It looks amazing. Soft as a baby's bum. And it smells delicious, all the smoky flavors. And uh, oh, this looks amazing. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Oh, beautiful. Soft and juicy. Soft and juicy, definitely. Can't, can't believe it's been six hours, eh? Yeah. Yeah, six hours, and it's looking amazing. All right, where's our chips? Add that to the plate so we can chow. The nice thing about the stove grill or the ceramic grills is the versatility that you can do pretty much anything yeah, yeah. with it, yeah. even chips on the on the grill. On the grill, yeah. Amazing. We've done a chicken, the pork bellies, pizza. Yeah, pizza. Amazing. Great pizzas. All right. There you go. That's us. Some salt and vinegar spice onto the chips, of course. Yeah. Come on. There we go. There we 
go. Off to you. You're gonna do the honors and we'll start with a chip. I'm gonna take a meat. Comes apart. Amazing. It's close there. Hmm. Oh my head. Hmm? It's good. Hold on, buddies. What a masterpiece. Sure. That's it. Amazing. This is now, if you really want a rustig Saturday or a long Sunday, and you need a lot of time to talk to your friends, then you do something like this. Amazing. Definitely worth the six hours. So, yeah. Thank you, Varys. That was amazing. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. And, uh, yeah. For all your bry needs, you know the shop to come to in Belita is Belita Gas and Bry. And this friendly face Cheers. will help you. Tune in next week to see what we got for you. Only on Belita TV. In the meanwhile, stay your feet on.